In this video, we are going to use the automatic backup feature of macOS that is uh, Time Machine. Before you begin uh, using this uh, backup method, uh, just, uh, just like uh, you saw in the previous video that it was going to take three hours to uh, transfer, uh, transfer manual backup of 25 GB, uh, the same is true for this one. It does take some time, so make sure you have enough time before you start the time machine process and you're not on the move. So you will have to leave the, the, your uh, device for at least maybe an hour. I'm not sure. I've never done this before. On Windows, it's pretty uh, fast when we do it through our um, tool. But we have an external uh, like hardware that I believe uh, hush up the process. So let's, let's start it. Um, when the first time you're going to run uh, attach the hard disk, it did uh, pop up the message to set up back, back uh, backup or not. I declined at that time, but later on, if you have, if you if you connect and it gives you the message, you can start the time, um, time machine process. If not, just go to system preference, just like I'm doing, and click on time machine based on your drive. You can see it's 123 GB. You click on use disk and it wants to um, erase, like format it in its. Uh, uh, preferred way uh, at this moment you need to be sure that that drive whatever you have connected does not have any valuable data because clicking raise is equivalent to format which will delete everything whatever is already existing on that drive i have nothing over there i clicked raise it's prepared it you can see the icon has changed backup automatically and that's all I had to do now you can see that its next backup is due in whatever time mm, hopefully it's doing the backup right now or it's gonna start in this second we can actually go and try to open it and see if there is anything nothing now I'm gonna just keep continue talking for the next maybe a minute so time machine keeps local snapshot as space permit so you make sure that you have enough space over there hourly backup for the past 24 hour daily backup for the past month weekly backup for all previous months I will I do recommend that uh, um, you it's it's going to be very hard for keeping the usb drive connected all the time especially if it's a laptop uh, if it's a desktop that's totally different but if it's a laptop i would recommend that you continue to plug in that usb every now and then so you don't lose uh, any data especially if you see what's going on it's been crazy there are a lot of cyber attacks uh, and i was actually glad at uh, how Fuji handle it they declined to pay the ransom and uh, they actually rebuild their system from the backup so that was a great move and that shows the importance of backup as well so all right so almost there All right, so it's preparing. Time Machine is backing up and encrypting uh, an encrypted, unencrypted disk, whatever. So this is going to take, okay, now my backup is actually twice what manual was. So it kind of shows the importance of uh, automatic because it's, I believe it's taking the snapshot snapshot is an image of the whole system at this time so if something goes uh, array it will 
uh, rest I, I will be able to restore my system you can see it's going to take about 25 minutes what i'm going to do is about half an hour so what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually uh, wrap this video here and uh, i will see you in the next uh, video and we'll try to see what restore options we have from this uh, uh, because 25 minutes is a lot better than three hours so i will let this run all right so that's how you set up the automatic backup that it will go ahead the time machine will go ahead and back up your data all everything automatically you don't have to worry about anything i'm gonna wrap this video here i hope this video has helped you if it has please rate comment subscribe and share and i see you in the next one